Let's kick some giga butt! I don't think anyone's gonna remember this one, but I don't care, this is like my one real outlet. So here we go! Good hello and welcome! Tree between frames. It's the late 80s, early 90s, right? Ninja Turtles is a big thing, so naturally everyone's cashing in on the craze of anthropomorphic teams of superheroes. And then along comes Power Rangers, so naturally everyone cashes in on the trend of taking Japanese action shows and wrapping it with American actors. Alright. One of the lesser known ones that I grew up with was called Superhuman Samurai. And upon reflection, it has become apparent that this is the single most 90s thing that you will ever see. Let's samurai, guys! Kilo Khan lives inside computer circuits. With the help of Malcolm Frink, he creates megavirus monsters to attack electronic systems. Meanwhile, a freak accident turns Sam Collins into Servo, Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. Yeah, yeah, okay. you, get, you get the idea. So I'm on a bit of a nostalgia trip one day, right? And surprise, surprise, of course. Someone's gone and made an animated short out of it. And it is spectacular. After a while of gushing, there is a particular trend in, in this technique. It must be one of the snappiest animations I know of, leaning very, very heavily on pacing its movement, gradually slowing things down and then snapping it into place. Tons of examples, I'll go through a few. And it wasn't even until I started r r reading between the frames that I even started noticing the strobing. No wonder it looks so snappy. It comes to almost a complete halt and then BANG! It flashes the entire screen with white and then throws a whole bunch of lightning everywhere. I guess you're really supposed to notice how snappy it is, but I like it. How many frames does this thing seem to approach over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Gradually slowing down before impacting with its destination. Only one frame being given unique shading. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then holds for two before slamming in. An even more prevalent example here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gradually slowing down. Hold for two, suddenly drop down for one frame, and then straight frame! Flashes to white. They always get your blood pumping. Or seizures. It even applies to things like this hand rollout. The first few frames are quite quick. It slows down to build tension so it can snap into place with a lot of impact. I also want to admire, you don't see this very often, the amount of shading that has a gradient in it that's being placed down at a frame by frame level. Pretty cool. Shiny stuff. It seems you can get away with just making something look shiny by putting down lots of random shapes of shade and then have a highlight go directly over the top. Hey, does the giant bolt in the back of his head give away that this might be a toy line? My name is Optimus Prime. I find it admirable just how little drawings you can get away with sometimes, as long as the pacing and the keyframes are decent. Just five drawings to do the head turn. Then it only took about seven or eight to get to the yeah, this is great big close-up. This is a part that is extraordinarily accurate to the live-action version. But the main thing that's changed is again the same snapping. It slows down, pauses, throws into place. Ah, man, it gives it so much more impact. Even in the action scenes, take a look at some of these keyframes. Moving into camera, this is the beginning of like a camera swing as it quickly transitions into recipient of the blow. He gets pushed back over a number of frames, but then pulls forward very, very quickly to reveal this transitional frame into this key, prepping a great big fist. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, on the thumb, there's a misshade. Yeah, there's always one. Note the lack of shading now, but compensated for the amount of stretch that's going on. And still very, very snappy. Slow movement here, single transitional frame into the next pose, and then two to three frames transitioning into the next movement. Oh, shiny. I like learning about how to make things reflecty, so it seems highlight moves across, flickers off, on, on, off, on. So it's slowly masking its way across, but it stammers. It never flickers the same shape twice. But this shine also isn't interacting directly with the highlights and shades that are already there. It's simply another overlay. That seems to get the job done. 
This is probably the most hectic charge up blast sequence in the short, but keeping in mind all the techniques we've observed so far, keep an eye out for them at play here. But the amount of shapes and angles, I mean, come on. Towards the end of the short, his outer armor gets destroyed. I didn't even notice the armor tearing away until I slowed it down. Okay, I'm done. If you have any suggestions of specific clips or movements that you'd like to see, then feel free to do so. And yeah, consider, you know, subscribing and sharing around and all that. Thanks for coming by though. Bye. Oh, and go see if there's any between the frames that you've missed. Yeah, that'd be nice.